Hi, this is Dr. Tsung Ao Neo. I'm the social professor with the Department of Mechanical Engineer at the Texas NM University. In this short presentation, I will briefly talk about EW 2010-15 Scalable Deployment of Advanced Building Energy Management Systems. We will have a brief introduction overview of the scalable deployment of the advanced building energy management system. And then we will briefly talk about key technical component for this system. We also show the result from demonstration at Levy Station, Great Lakes. So first, what's the ESTCP EW 2010-15? This is uh, an advanced building energy management system, a BAMPS, that employ advanced methods of the whole building performance monitoring combined with the statistical method of learning and the data analysis to enable identification of both gradually and discrete performance erosion and faults. This system assimilates the data collected from multiple sources, including blueprints, reduced order model, and uh, measurements, and employ advanced statistics learning algorithms to identify patterns of the alumnus. This system was conducted and demonstrated at Levy Station Great Lakes. With them, 20% savings were demonstrated for building energy consumption by improving facility managed decision support to diagnose energy faults and prioritize alternative energy efficient operation strategies. This slide shows the block diagram of the advanced building energy management system. Um, there are six key components here. The first one is the real-time load estimator. Um, the second one is the HVAC and the power monitoring system through the building management system. The third one is the HVAC power system and control model. The fourth one is HVAC operation sensitivity analysis. The fifth one is diagnosis and the visualization. The last one is the recommendation actions um, in next few slides uh, we're talking about the key component um, in a little bit detail um, the first is the load estimator a model-based estimation approach was used to provide information about unmeasured data relative to building energy performance, for example, internal heat gain, infiltration. Uh, because those variables, they are important for building energy consumption, but unfortunately, right now, there's no sensors we can use directly to measure it, or it can easily be measured. Estimation were performed using external common filter which is a data simulation a method and was based on a reduced order model. Reduced order model is a simplified model which we can build it fast. The figure on the bottom of this slide shows the, the typical procedure to estimate unmeasured variables using a common filter and through the reduced order method. The reduced order model uh, was used for the following purpose. The first one is we can use the reduced model as a reference model to represent a design building operation. The reduced model can also be used to estimate unmeasured variables and energy performance measure. 
metrics as we show in the previous slides. We can also use the reduced model to perform HVAC operation sensitivity analysis to evaluate the impact of the various HVAC operation strategies. Basically, we can conduct if-then analysis. The last way we are using the reduced model is to generate ground truth data for data-driven energy diagnostics. The figure on this slide shows a coupling procedure between the building envelope reduced model and HVAC reduced model. And also those models um, was coupled with HVAC control logics. For the next key component is the building an HVAC system energy diagnostic module. Data mining, uh, this means the, some technologies to discover the patterns uh, using large data set and the model-based estimation. Um, as we mentioned, this is uh, some technologies you can use to estimate unknown variable use models. So the data mining and model-based estimation approach we use it to provide energy anomaly detection, a number of the complementary modeling method we use it to implement energy diagnostic decision support. These include probabilistic graphic models as shown on these slides. That's it. Uh, that's basically show uh, uh, 100 units, the Bayesian network, uh, diagnostic model, and also uh, we have expert rule-based trash method uh, for the fault detection diagnostic as well. The energy performance visualization tool uh, is another key component for this uh, advanced building energy management system. This energy performance visualization tool enables visualization of energy-related metrics at a different building and HVAC system levels, uh, provide decision support to enable the identification and the prioritization of the alternative energy-efficient HVAC system operating strategy for facility engineers. Also, we can use the visualization tool to help us to conduct energy fault diagnostics and the root cause analysis and help us to identify the persistent trend in energy usage. The figure on these slides shows exemplary uh, the visualization interface. Uh, as we can see, we can see the pie chart for different energy statistics of the energy end use. At the same time, we provide energy series, time series energy flow. Uh, interface as well. For the HVAC operation sensitivity analysis, this uh, HVAC operation sensitivity analysis uh, will implement within the energy performance visualization framework to allow the facility manager to identify and prioritize energy efficient HVAC optimize operation alternatives for implementation. Uh, so the two uh, figures on this slide shows the operation sensitive analysis uh, for the uh, this supplier temperature set point and uh, um, the chill water uh, supply temperature set point. Uh, so you can see uh, you can based on these uh, different sensitivity analysis um, we um, we have better understanding about supplier temperature set point and chill water supply temperature set points impact on energy consumption. In terms of the demonstration, uh, three buildings uh, in the Levy Station Great Lakes were used for the demonstration. The first one is the building 7230, that's a, um, the drill hall building. Um, this drill hall building is a two-store facility with a drill deck, office, and administrative rooms. 
is about uh, 17,000 square foot. The building is 7, uh, 7113 and 7114. Uh, they are recruit barracks and the long rectangle buildings. Uh, they have uh, uh, compartments, bathroom, laundry rooms, classrooms, a quarter decks with a two-store atrium and office space, and also a large cafeteria as well. On the demonstration side, uh, we have installed additional meters and the sensors to uh, capture more data from the, um, the building. Uh, the table on this slide shows those um, additional uh, new sensors, uh, new meters installed through this demonstration, and also at least some existing sensors as well. Um, there are two PCs um, we used for demonstration. One PC uh, is with the existing uh, Simmons Apogee system. Another PC uh, was used to run advanced building energy management system. In terms of the demonstration result, uh, greater than 20% reduction in building total energy consumption um, and 7 to 15% reduction in building peak demand energy um, and 20% reduction in building total equivalent CO2 emission were achieved. Uh, for the HVAC equipment energy consumption, um, 5 to 15% reduction in HVAC uh, equipment such as hand units and fan was achieved compared with baseline. Um, for the building load reduction, about 20% reduction in lighting nodes uh, with the occupancy based control were achieved. And then um, in terms of the uh, system robustness, greater than 95% of fault identified are classified correctly. Uh, in terms of the uh, system payback, the simple payback time is less than three years. The saving investment ratio is greater than 2.5. Um, we also identified uh, some faults. For example, in here shows the economy faults. So after we um, fix these economic faults, um, about 18% chillered water consumptions um, was uh, saved compared with uh, current operation. So in summary, uh, for this uh, advanced building energy management system, uh, the demonstration at Levy Station Great Lakes, greater than 20% savings was demonstrated for building energy consumption by improving facility managed decision support to diagnose energy faults and prioritize alternatives and efficient operation strategies. A tool train for scalable probabilistic graphic model based end diagnostics has been established, tested, and demonstrated. More than 15% energy savings were achieved by correcting iron units, the common faults, greater than 95% of faults identified were class classified correctly. The primary concern for the future implementation of the proposed technology is the instrumentation cost. The largest component are the equipment and the installation costs related to submetering and on-site weather station. I also want to mention Nowadays, there's a trend for cloud-based software platform in the industry. The demonstrate advanced building management, building energy management system has the potential to be implemented in the cloud, and then um, the implementation cost associated with the software will be reduced significantly. This concludes this uh, short presentation for um, this ESTCP project. Thank you.